Kilimanjaro Safari in the Animal Kingdom. Kilimanjaro Safari. And Addie's, he loves animals. She's nervous about she the animals. Loves she loves them. Mm -hmm. I think it's it'll be safe. I think. Okay. Kilimanjaro Safaris. I'm Chan. I'm a driver and animal spotter here at this track of the Rumble Wildlife Reserve. Just a couple simple rules. Stay in your seat. Keep your hands on feet and legs. Have a beautiful all signs. You got a kid in your lap, that's fine. So don't raise him up in the air, because that doesn't make any sense. Because, you know, y'all stand up, gotta stop show, blah, 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 and I don't want to do that. All right, well, uh, you can kind of see him behind the thing. It's maybe I can keep going. I can keep, oh, there's his head, fantastic. That's an old copy over on the right. Oh, yeah. And I know it's an old copy, because it's like to remind you of a zebra. It turns out the old copy's related to the giraffe. That's because they have long legs, a long neck, and a tongue that is 18 inches long. Razo Copy's legs like, reminds of a zebra while he's using them. It's used for camouflage. Helps him with sun's reflection. So the copy needs to hide a can with those legs. Now, of course, we'll, uh, we'll keep coming around. We're going to see what else we can find around here in the interior forest. Three of them. It's in the wild. Female coon found them to three. So ten. Now, of course, we'll keep coming along. Oh, these black and white birds on the right. These are the sand built stork. They are known as the tallest stork in Africa. They saw it's five feet high. Eyes wasn't, doesn't look very tall because really he's sitting down. Oh, look, a black rhino on the left. Now, black rhinos can weigh 3,000 pounds or 35 miles an hour, but unfortunately, less than 5,000 black rhinos left in the wild. That's because poachers grab their horns and sell it on the black market, which is interesting. Their horns are made of keratin. Six of the horns are very hard to find in the wild, and the horns on their head can be quite long. Those horns reach between 32 to 36 inches long. All right, we saw some animals. Uh, where are you going? Now, they like to stay in the water, but they're overeating. These guys eat the 80 pounds of vegetation today. Now, if you don't like the video, you're right. Look to your left, there are more hippos. Now, hippos I guess certain size of water, so now it turns out they don't swim. They actually like to run or walk underwater. Like some of my folks back, there's more hippos on the left. White birds on the first island are pink backed pelicans. Now, they're called pink backed pelicans during mating season. The back of their feathers will turn pink. <laughs> Based on the nest you see on that island, that just lets you know the mating season was well, pretty recent. He's 16 feet long, weighing to 500 pounds. These guys got no seen things like water based zebra center, but their diet mainly consists of small fish. Alright, so we've just left the. go nine months without growing a single leaf on it. Stays alive by storing water in the trunk of the tree. They also call the tree the upside down tree. It looks like it was planted upside down, with branches and stems that look like roots. Now as I look out into the savannah, I can see some animals already out there, but we're going to make sure we take this one step at a time, because I don't want you guys to miss out on some animals. I've become your favorite animals by the end animals. But, just for now, we're going to go over by these rock formations on the left. Might see some animals, but as you can tell, I just have no idea. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And, nope, there they are. Cool. So inside the cave, we're going to get a better view, so don't worry, but inside the cave, we've got those African wild dogs in there. The African wild dogs are the best hunters out there, the way they do it. The alpha male and the alpha female lead the pack. They're gonna chase another prey to the prey back. Oh, just a reminder, guys, I gotta make sure y'all stay seated in the truck. There you go, blue shirt. Anyways, we'll keep going. On the left, you have to turn for any predators to jump on their back. Um, you guys can imagine the rest. And then these mounds up ahead are termite mounds. Termite mounds are made of three simple ingredients soil, spit, and termite dung, which is pretty gross. Turns out your favorite animals and the elephants on the Uzi's mounds is scratching post. Not a big deal if the elephants knock down the mounds, because termites use those three simple ingredients and let them right back up. Hi, 13 feet forward. They're one of the fastest land animals out there. They can run 60 miles an hour. That's yeah, about as fast as a rock and roller coaster. Now, of course, you may know in the wild, they just want to come together to drive 100,000 miles of fresh drink water. But well, look, giraffes are on top of the hill on the left. Now, giraffes are the tallest land animals out there. They can be as tall as 20 feet high. And the type of giraffes you're seeing from a distance are the Maasai giraffe. You know it's a Maasai giraffe because they have a regular spot pattern on their coat. Hopefully, get a closer view of the giraffes as you keep coming along, but, uh, you know, we'll cross fingers on that one. If a water beast is a predator in the area, they can get up and start running without hitting each other. All right. Oh, no, there's a giraffe. There's a giraffe over by that palm tree. Over 
Now, it's not surprising these giraffes stand all the time. Giraffes only sit for about 30 minutes a day. This time, they're up trying to get those hard to reach. Now, we're going to see any other new animals around here. But like I said, we're looking around everything. We're looking around, of course. Once you're up by the palm trees on the left. And, uh, like her Patterson's Elands, a big old answer from Patterson's Elands. Now, they are known as the tallest antelope out there. Let me saw six feet high from the shoulder. But more importantly, I see these broken trees up ahead. There's only one animal I think that breaks trees like that. It's the elephant. So we're going to head to the elephant country. Keep your eyes open. Territorial. So, they had kicked out of the herd. And I say the other oh. brothers walked away from the herd. But, uh, unless we can find any other new animals over here. No, no, yeah, we are going to stop, so don't worry, folks. But, uh, that shouldn't be any issues, shouldn't be any worries. It, it should be a straight shot to the herd, and, uh, oh, come on. What could go wrong? <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Alright, used to be across that. Oh, so now, through the thickets, you guys can certainly tell the elephants do love to socialize and mingle during the day, but it's new with the elephants. Oh, yeah, we're gonna stop for those elephants right about uh, now. That'll work. Go ahead, take pictures, put them on your Instagram, your Facebook, your Snapchat, your Twitter, your MySpace. I don't know. Now the question is, what the elephants need protection from? Well, it turns out the elephant population is dwindling at an alarming rate. Capri's for that. Habitat loss. Elephants go walk thousands of miles for fresh drinking water like this up ahead. Poachers go after their ivory tusks on the black market. Yeah. You know, that's pretty good news, the elephants. But we're also going to get a fantastic view of these greater flamingos on the left. Now, greater flamingos are the largest flamingos out there. They also have lice and feathers. They're not born with pink feathers, they're born with gray feathers. They got pink feathers, they got a high diet of beta carotene, which found a bronze ship and other small aquatic creatures. Now, you guys probably tell I'm a very transparent person, so I'll tell you what's going on. See, we got a new white rhino over on the other side of those cattle guards. Now, this white rhino is not used to these trucks. It's gonna be a little timid, a little shy, maybe do some crazy stuff, but. Because of that, because we want to make sure you guys are safe, I can't stop anywhere this new white rhino can get to. So, of course, like I said, if we do get to see some animals, we can go past these cover guards. I'll make rhinos. Yeah. You keep looking to the right and think it. White rhinos. Now, white rhinos are quite larger than black rhinos. White rhinos only do more than 5,000 pounds. And though we can see them, definitely can't see us. Only see about 10 feet per other horn. They make up for that poor vision for our great sense of hearing and smell as they navigate throughout the savannah. Alright, they go 0, 6, 5 in 3 seconds. Now cheetahs, ah, they don't like hunting during the day because at night, there's way more competition for them out there during the night time than the daytime. You worry, but they're doing it anyway. That's so nice. Hey, don't look at me like that. You know it's true. Anyways. Well, we got a look at those cheetahs that are uh, chilling out over there, but we might hear a lion roar. We hear a lion roar from four to five miles away. Now, you're going to get an easier view of who the male is. He's got a mane around his neck, but the females are the hunters of the pride. They get the food. The male is more like the stay-at-home dad. He stays in the territory to protect it and raise the cubs. They're good dads. But, you know, we don't want to bother these lions too much. We'll let them enjoy their cat naps. We'll let them get ready for those nocturnal adventures. We'll go and check out the other side. Thank you. 